If you're a middle-aged nostalgia fan or you just really like a good bit of music, well, Nokia's latest launch might well have you spaffing in your shorts. Because the Nokia 5710 Express Audio doesn't just serve up a great big dollop of retro goodness, it also packs in a pair of true wireless earbuds hidden in a crafty little flap around back. You got an MP3 player, you got a wireless radio, and you got built-in dual speakers as well as so you can blast your tunes on your bus on your way into work, really piss off all the grannies. So let's whip the Nokia 5710 Express Audio on out of the box, take you on a full-on tour of that hardware and the software, see if the true wireless earbuds are actually any good. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now the Nokia 5710 Express Audio is available right now direct from Nokia for just 75 quid. And inside the box you get one 5710 feature phone and of course the true wireless earbuds. You've actually got a removable battery which is sending me on a serious nostalgia trip. And you've also got an adapter bundled in there but unfortunately it is micro USB. So the first step here is yanking off the back of that Nokia 5710 and cunningly concealed inside here you've got two SIM slots and you've also got a micro SD memory card slot so you can stick in memory cards of up to 32 gigs. And then once you're ready, bung in the battery and you'll also want to chuck in those true wireless earbuds which just stick in there magnetically. Then bung the back cover on again, give it a good old charge and you're ready for action. Now the Nokia 5710 Express Audio is a bit of a brick, certainly as far as candy bar feature phones go, but it is also surprisingly light at just 130 grams, which isn't really incredibly surprising given how small that battery is. But the Nokia 5710 does feel great to clutch because it's so slender and you've got those lovely curved edges and everything as well. The hand feel is off the charts. It does feel very plasticky, of course, especially as it is so lightweight, but then it is constructed from plastic, so what do you expect? But despite the cheap materials, the 5710 does look pretty smart. HMD Global has done a bang up job here. It's definitely got that retro vibe to it, but nicely refined. I like the look of the backlit keypad and those bright red media control buttons, which form two strips either side of the screen, just add a little bit of extra character and color to it. And that color also continues around back. You've got a strip which surrounds that back end. And then of course the big old flap, which you yank down to reveal those true wireless earbuds. I'm hoping that flap won't wear down over time or potentially snap off under a little bit of duress. So far seems absolutely fine. And if you aren't really a fan of the colour scheme, you particularly don't like the red highlight and well the bad news is there's only two choice of colours here, black and red or white and red. So either way, you don't like red, you're kind of stuffed. A manufacturer at HMD Global reckons that the Nokia 5710 Express Audio is well hard as well, rugged enough to put up with all kinds of punishment. It's probably just as well if you are planning on using it as a festival phone or if you just want to take it out and about for a bit of adventure actually whatever it is that people do outdoors basically. Now naturally one of the more interesting features here on the Nokia 5710 are those true wireless earbuds. And it's not a unique feature by any means. I've tested out other phones with wireless earbuds built in. I've even reviewed a smartwatch with built-in buds, which wasn't very good. But could be a very worthwhile bonus feature if you find your Bluetooth headphones are constantly running out of juice when you're out and about, or you're accidentally forgetting them half the time. And the good news is they are held in there by strong magnets as well, so they won't come flying out as soon as you yank down on that flap. Now the earbuds themselves, unfortunately, are the hard-tipped variety. You don't get a silicon tip on these things for a nice, soft, comfortable fit. So I did find that when I was wearing these buds for more than an hour that my ears started to get a little bit tender so I had to just yank them out for a few minutes just to give my lug holes some rest. And also the lack of silicon tips means you don't get a perfect seal when you stick these buds in as well so you are still very much aware of everything going on around you. There's no isolation and there's obviously no noise cancellation or anything either at this sort of price point so if you are looking for something to use on a commute or in really noisy busy areas then these won't really cut it. And of course the audio quality isn't exactly fantastic either, the sound is quite tinny, you've got about as much bass as a grasshopper's fart. But as long as you're not an audiophile, expect an absolutely crisp, clear, super awesome audio, you'll be absolutely fine with these things, they're great for just kicking back with a bit of the radio, some tunes on the move, whatever. These buds are pretty dinky but they'll still give you almost four hours of audio playback on a charge as well before they need to be shoved back into the 5710 and recharged. Sadly, there's no headphone jack here on the Nokia 5710 Express Audio, which would be a good alternative to the Bluetooth. Although you do have built-in dual speakers, which can blare a good bit of audio on demand. Bump the volume all the way up, and it's got a proper punch. What about energy rationing to actually reduce our usage? Maybe you're going to impose that on your kids. Well, no, my kids don't do so. My kids will use as much energy as they can afford. 
Now the wireless FM radio feature does work pretty bluzzy well. Occasionally you will have to wave the phone around about in the air to find the perfect signal to cut all of the crackling out. It does usually work best when the phone is clutched in your hand, so if you set it down, wander away, chances are things will start to get a bit crappy. Now you've got full radio auto-tune in here on the Nokia 5710s. You won't have to manually go through and find all of your favourite stations, but you will have to manually name them. You can do this simply by saying add to favourites and then chuck it in any available space, one of nine. And you could also use those media controls to skip through all the various stations as well and of course change the volume. Alternatively, if you're not a fan of the radio, you do have an MP3 player on here. But if you want to use this, you'll definitely need to stick a memory card into the Nokia 5710 because I literally had space for four songs and that was it. Sadly, no, there's no streaming support here, no Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, any of that. So we'll have to either shove tracks onto this thing, otherwise just use the radio. It's definitely proper old school. And I don't know about you guys, but personally, I haven't bought any music in like a decade, decade and a half. I've just used Deezer for forever. So I don't really have any music to put on this thing, apart from like some really back in the day 90s hip hop, stuff like that. As for the display, well, it's a 2.4 inch QVGA screen. Not exactly pin sharp, but it does the job for all of the apps and features on here. You haven't got any auto brightness by the looks of it. You have to manually bump it up or down by diving into the settings. Personally, I just left it on the maximum brightness to save on aggro. The Nokia 5710 runs Series 30 Plus OS, complete with all of the usual apps. You've got your messenger and your web browser, which of course is a highly thrilling experience, but a mini opera action. For anyone who hasn't used this, it can be a little bit slow. You've got to be quite a patient person to get on with this one. A little bit clunky once those massive banner ads and things start popping up on screen as well. Always a fun time. As far as your socials go, you've got Facebook and that's basically it. There's no support, unfortunately, for WhatsApp or anything like that on here. You've got your media shenanigans or so the radio, your music and any videos that you happen to have shot on this thing or have stuck on it via a USB cable. The earbuds app can tell you whether you're connected or not and give you a rough indication on the battery life remaining when you are connected. You've also got an anti-lost feature which can just flash the lights a bit if you don't know where they are, not particularly handy. You've got a small selection of games including the highly thrilling Race and Attack here, uh, proper old school again, all of the nostalgia. It's only really particularly taxing if frankly you've had a skin full. Oh, 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 that was a close one. Proper hair raising and stuff. You do also have one of my absolute all-time favourites on here, Tetris, but you've got to actually pay for it. Three GBPs plus the cost of one SMS. Chuff. It's the same story with Blackjack, unfortunately. But yes, you do also get that all-time classic snake on here, at least the bastardised version of it that's not quite the same. And oh my god, just get the bloody apple already. You've got a voice recorder, a calculator, a calendar, timer functions, all the usual stuff. And as you can see from the little symbol up top, you do have full 4G LTE support here on the Nokia 5710 for getting online. Good bit of voice over LTE for your calls as well. But unfortunately, for some weird reason, you don't have Wi-Fi support here on the Nokia 5710. So if you don't slap a SIM in there, then you've got absolutely no internet connection at all. And this feature phone is powered by a Unisoc T107 processor backed by a mighty 48 megabytes of RAM. Whoa, that's an absolute power stallion. Again, it does the job absolutely fine. You know, the only slowness involved is when you try and jump online and use that internet browser, which is just painfully teeth pulling the awful. But, you know, Race and Attack plays with a blistering frame rate, so it's all good. Got to admit, I am slightly concerned with the battery life here on the Nokia 5710, though. It's got a 1450 mAh capacity cell, which is pretty similar to most other Nokia feature phones but of course then you've got the likes of those true wireless earbuds which it then has to power in addition to the rest of the phone and everything and yesterday i slapped my sim in here had it in there the full day was testing out the earbuds lots of radio use and all that good stuff had that screen boosted up to maximum brightness as i mentioned before and unfortunately that did kill the battery dead in just the one day so just be warned, if you are going to be using all of the features and everything, you will have to pack your charger if you are going away for the weekend. Don't expect it to last a week or so in between chargers like a lot of other Nokia feature phones. And slapped here on the back end of the Nokia 5710 is a pretty basic 0.3 megapixel VGA camera. That's quite cute and quaint. You can use it to snap basic pics of your furry friends, your family, whatever else. Just don't go expecting any, you know, super crisp, highly detailed shots or anything. UI is pretty straightforward stuff. You can take a, a quick picture like so. Otherwise, you've also got a timer function and you do have a video mode as well. So yes, you can even shoot some uh, quick basic home movies of your, your fairy pals again or whatever else. 
So that right there, in a nutshell, is the Nokia 5710 Express Audio, a feature form with quite a nifty little bonus feature slapped around back. It costs you 75 puns uh, direct from Nokia, otherwise I think it's available by the likes of Amazon as well. It'd be great to hear your thoughts on this below down in the comments below. Please do plug, subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers!